hello we are going to do a read for leo sun moon rising and venus for the year 2022 this is going to be an astrology spread which will cover love and career and energies i hope you enjoy it thank you so much for showing up leo 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 we're calling in the higher self of leo to get a clear guided message for the year of 2022 what's going on with leo what the devil okay some of you guys might be dealing with a capricorn some of you guys might be dealing with the devil i mean dealing with the things that you are attached to the things that kind of keep you in self-inflicted bondage i don't know you're just facing these things okay wow that would make me want to switch off this reading immediately but Let's see what clarifies it. I mean, if some of you guys are dealing with a Capricorn, then there you go. Or if you feel like you're dealing with this kind of energy, this is like the whole read. I've never gotten the devil as like the main. I'm curious, Leo. Some of you guys might be addressing addictions. Okay, so somebody broke your heart, okay? Or you're dealing with heartbreak or this is what's coming up, wow. Wow, heartbreak and one, and then lovers. Okay, clear as day, there's like a lover here um, that you're really attached to, or that's really attached to you or both. Um, and there's been heartbreak or this heartbreak or third party. Maybe you're dealing with two people. There's like a lot of temptation for you this year in love. For some of you, there is a choice between two lovers. For others of you, I don't know. Leo, what the heck? What the heck? What's going on, Leo? <laughs> oh my god. All right. See, look at you. You're all in your your personality, your outer shell, your ego. Your ego's super happy, which is making me think this is your choice. You're attached to two people, and this is your choice, Leo. This is your choice, and for whatever reason, you're glowing. I mean, you're in this happy place. You're in your element, at least externally, in the ego itself, okay? So, yeah, okay? So there's a lot of patience with materialism, security. You're feeling really secure. Some of you guys, we got Sagittarius energy and Capricorn energy and Gemini energy here, but... You're feeling really balanced and patient when it comes to money, the things you have. I don't even feel like you're very insecure with all of this. What is going on? I guess this is the year you deal with the devil, the deal with, I don't know. There's something fun about this energy though in an egoic way. Yeah, I feel like you have to make a choice. Maybe you're communicating to many people. You don't know which one you want to communicate with. Who you want to communicate to. You know, you're having a hard time in communication, it looks like. For some of you, it's with a Sagittarius. You're having a hard time communicating with a Sagittarius or communicating your needs. Huh. You're getting what you want as far as like what's going on in the home. You're really inspired. You're inspired in your home with the King of Wands in the fourth house. You're getting what you want in your home. There's a lot of charisma. There's a lot of energy. There's a lot of really cool energy in your home. Okay. But as far as how... Wow, Leo, this is such a weird reading for you. <laughs> what the... As far as how you're expressing yourself, you're not doing it. You are in your home getting inspired, possibly creating there. Whatever you're creating, it's a secret, okay? Whoever you love is a secret. For some of you, maybe you choose to be alone. Maybe there's too much attachment in love. Maybe you're just trying to be really patient. You're getting away from this energy that doesn't serve you this year. I'm gonna have to clarify the whole beginning. Five of a cups in the sixth house, the house of service. We've got 
The Five of Cups in the Sixth House. Man, I'm sorry, but you're getting over a lover. You're getting over a lover. You're being very patient, but you're happy. What the bleep? You're getting over something or someone and you're happy about it. You you don't want to connect with them anymore. You don't want to express love to them anymore. You're you're detaching to the point, Leo, that you're happy. You're happy. You're detaching from something that has kept you stuck. Okay, Chariot, some of you guys might be dealing with a cancer. Love is coming towards you, though. See, so what I'm thinking is, like, you're grieving one lover and you're moving to another. Another one's coming in with the chariot. Either that or you're running away as fast as you can happily. Because you are very happy about this. You are very patient about this. You don't feel insecure about it. You do grieve it. But you know it's good for your health. It's almost helping you serve yourself. It's helping you be healthy, happy. Moving away from this. This is a crazy read. I guess it's just crazy to me to get the devil in the beginning. I have to clarify it. I'm like, what the? What the heck's going on? But you do seem happy. So let's see what you're so happy about here. Because this is like... Okay, we have the Muse of Materials and the Eighth House. You find stability and abundance for, for through, through this transformation. For some of you guys, you're literally like exploring like your creativity inwardly. Um, this transformation's brought you so much security. I think that you were in a situation or you're leaving a situation. I think you're leaving a situation and it's making you very, very happy, okay? Whether you, a new love's coming in or not, I don't know, because this could mean a choice between two loves, so could this. I mean, maybe somebody had a third party, I don't know. It's not really, I'm gonna clarify those. Because you look so happy, it's almost like on letting something that's like that's really taken you down. And as you released it, you're like, oh my God. For some of you, honestly, you're just releasing things that you're attached to. So you're no longer attached to love in that kind of way. You're so good on your own. You're serving yourself by letting it go, by grieving. You know, maybe this person made you feel guilty. Maybe this person like gave you like, you know, a hard time. They were really heavy. And by letting them go, the, the burdens really lifted. I mean, with the chariot card, for some of you, you know, maybe a new love's coming in quick, but I see a lot of you guys running away very quickly. Bye-bye, okay? Um, yeah, you're on to a new cycle. You're closing out a cycle. You're definitely closing out a cycle. Um, this wasn't for you. This person, this situation was not for you. You're closing out a cycle completely, and it's taught you what it needed to teach you, and you're happy about it. You learned your lessons. You've got it. You have a lot. This is the queen of inspiration. This is your energy. There's a lot of energy in, in career. Okay. Like you're feeling really good about money, whether there's a lot or not. And you're really inspired. So even though you're taking this inward journey and you're spending time alone, maybe it's just in relationship. Or you're coming out as being unattached. Like really inspired, really on fire. And I feel like in career and people see you that way, but they also see you as unattached, like free, your true self. A tower. There's been a collapse in maybe your social groups or a surprise in your social groups, your soul tribe. There's been like a change in that. Yeah, this is all about healing the shadow, healing the devil, becoming aware of it. I mean, if this is in the front or at the center of this whole thing, you're addressing the things that you were attached to. Probably in love for a lot of you. And then the Hermit card. So, I mean, a lot of you guys, I'm gonna clarify these crazy cards, but honestly, Leo, 
Whatever you're leaving is making you super happy, super successful, super creative, super on fire. I see you extremely inspired in your home. There is a divine counterpart showing up in your home and in your work. So you might be meeting somebody at work or you know somebody at work. Maybe you're choosing that person or that person's coming in after you release an attachment to somebody else. Okay, we have Virgo energy, Leo energy. I'm just gonna give the signs for the major arcana. So we got Capricorn, Leo. Um, the world is Aquarius, right? I don't know, it might be Capricorn. No, maybe, sorry. Let me know if you guys know. Um, Aquarius, Capricorn, and um, Sagittarius. So we got all those signs here. I want to clarify why the devil's here. Oh gosh, it goes right in between. It really is about love. It, it really is. And it, and it came out like on the side. Um, some of you guys have a choice between two loves, but you need to take time by yourself and get like unattached. Or maybe you need to detach from this one that's like a devil that's held you back. I think that's really given you a hard time. It's brought up issues of like grief and guilt and shame, regardless of who's right in the right or the wrong. It just brought up those energies. Had to deal with like pride, um, what feels like heartbreak, but really it's ego break. But... Because it's on the side, it's like you weren't sure if this person was your true love or not. Clarify for your voices. That didn't come out right. Clarify three of voices for Leo. The devil. And this came out sideways too. This person broke your heart. This person broke your heart. Some of you guys just dealing with addictions, but no, it's lovers. This person was a vice, they tempted you. <laughs> okay, this is crazy. This person, what is this person to you? The two of wands, somebody that you're leaving to move into your own personal power, that's for sure. Um, I feel like you had a hard time leaving them. They're really like enmeshed in your life, really entangled. Um, and you just, it was hard for you to move on, but look at she's burning away the old pictures, the old notes, I don't know. It's like letting go of all these memories, but it sets you free. Okay. Yeah, you're taking a new direction away from this person, hands down. I do think it's a person for a lot of you. Yeah, this is somebody maybe who was arrogant, reckless, um, really didn't take. And so this person was so unstable, reckless, you're really attached to them. Um, they might have had addictions. Um, clarify the... Eight of emotions in the fifth house, please. Death. Death. Yeah, you had a hard time resisting change. This person really left you in stagnation. Um, really left you... You're just happy about this. You're happy to be leaving this energy. I think you successfully do it. Why is the tower in the 11th house for Leo? Nine of cups. Dreams come true, satisfaction, and abundance. So there's going to be a surprise, a really good wish, I feel like. I feel like in your social group, in your spiritual group, in your soul tribe, I feel like there's going to be a surprise. Honestly, I mean, for some of you, it could be a breakdown, but I think for a lot of you, it's more like surprise. Everything that you want is here. 
Your wishes are coming true. Surprise, surprise. Maybe you're surprised. You let this person go. Maybe you're getting a new person. Please clarify the chariot. Five coins. Mm. <laughs> no, I think you're getting out of Dodge. That's like the abandonment card. The five of coins. It's like you're abandoning ship. You're abandoning the situation. You're abandoning the... Why is the five of emotions in the sixth house? The queen of swords in reverse, though. Mm, this person, I think you're, you know, this was pessimism. This was like, this made you scornful. It puts you in a really, like, kind of angry, in your mind place. You're releasing that. You got to, like, kind of detox from those energies because you wouldn't have manifested this energy if it didn't need to show you something i don't know that's just like if you want to put a story to the isness there you go right that's what the tarot is is there's stories to you know hopefully accept what is and to give you enough like anchoring so that you can just relax and just be in your soul just be that's really the goal i feel like for all of us down here is just to detach enough not def, you know not to detach not to what's the word oh my god what's wrong with me when i do these things Det disassociate it's not disassociating because it's coming up you can't even disassociate from this when the devil's like right in your face you know what it is you can't like pretend that it's not there you know, it's like accepting the heartbreak, accepting everything, accepting instead of making you shrewd, you accept, you know, making you scornful. Maybe you were really mad at this person, you know, and really resented them. But now you're happy. You, you've accepted what is you've let go of like kind of that mental resentment with the queen of swords in reverse. Like, it's just like, you're kind of, you're free. And then wishes start coming true. I mean, you're healing those shadows. They're really coming up for you to like release and let go. It really is good energy, considering, like, the devil's got to show up so we know what it is, right? Oh, that's crazy. Why are you happy? What is what is the deal? Why are you happy? You're illuminated, that's for sure. You're in awareness. Six of coins, because you're getting, now things are equal. Things are balanced. You're feeling generous. You're feeling like you got your, your groove back. You can share your wealth. You have abundance. You're tapped in. You're not getting drained anymore from this energy. Why is the four of voices in the 12th house? So curious about this read. All right. Parties, indulgence, happiness. So, you know. Hmm. One more card for that. You're healing, you're having fun. Ten of coins. Yeah, I think this this healing. Honestly, I feel like you're in a, in a place where you're healing. Your home feels good, your home feels stable, you're having a good time. You are kind of in coming into union with yourself, right? Like letting this old energy go just brings you more into this place of rest and truth clarify the two of voices in the house third house for leo guys gotta let me know if this resonates this is crazy ten of cups in reverse okay yeah there's like this major you, you cannot communicate with this person because and maybe other people maybe you've held back from communication um, you don't want to communicate and deal with any like dysfunctional, abusive behaviors. You don't want to, you don't want to communicate that way. You don't even open your mouth. You don't want that energy. So you don't want to pay, partake in arguing and in conflict and like unstable, dysfunctional people or communications. You, you're, you're purging that. From yourself you're purging that from the people around you that are like that you're very hesitant you're you're more interested in doing um disconnecting from the like cords that you have from people this particular person wow damn dude all right so let's do the temperance and why not right i'm just clarifying everything here 
Temperance. The Four of Wands in reverse. Again, like this person, this energy, like had this, you didn't feel, there was animosity, there was resentment. You didn't feel connected. You didn't feel aligned. You didn't feel welcome. So as you realign yourself, you're, you're kind of like those energies, those thoughts that come up, they're no longer like, they don't got you. You're patient with them. They don't mess with your sense of stability and security. Damn. Okay. Why is the muse of inspiration in the fourth house? King of coins, knight of coins. So you're hardworking. You're, you're rebuilding. You're really on fire to start something new. What's the queen of inspirations? Six of wands. Ego check. I don't know. That kind of flew out. So watch out for your ego. Don't get too cocky, Leo. Hangman and strength wanted to show up. Okay, let's just do like a pure. I didn't take it because it just came out before I finished my sin. Because I didn't like it, okay? I didn't like it, but I said what it was, okay? Be careful. Don't get too cocky. Don't get overconfident is what it wants to say, okay? King of swords. Yeah, okay. Same energy. Um, King of swords in reverse. Interesting. Clarify that, please. There's manipulation and cockiness going on, Leo, when it comes to, like, work. So be careful, like, you're so happy to be out of this. Be careful not to, like, gloat. Yeah, don't get stuck in your mind too much. You're so much in your power. Be careful not to gloat. Okay. The world... Nine of coins. You're going to just do so well. You're doing so well. Try not to get too cocky, it's saying, okay? Like, like you're going to be on fire. But you're so detached this year from what everybody thinks. You know, like, you don't care. You're in your power. You don't care what this old person thinks. You don't care about what the new people think. Um, you're plowing ahead. You're overconfident, which I kind of like that you're cocky. It's almost like you deserve it in a way, like your ego's on fire, you know, but it's balanced. Like your ego's happy. Um, but it's really because you moved away from a lot of toxicity. You're moving away from a lot of toxicity this year. There's going to be new beginnings. There's going to be new directions. There's going to be inspirations. It, this this hasn't been easy or it's not going to be easy to completely let go of. But just know when you let go of whatever this is, it could be an addiction. A lot of you guys love lovers. Lovers. Some of you guys, there's a choice between two people. Some of you guys end up alone anyway and, and happy about it. Because you're really thriving in this new cycle, you're closing out an old cycle and you're really thriving in this new cycle, okay? Yeah, this person just wasn't able to like give you love. They got depressed a lot, they weren't balanced. I don't know if they were ever going to be, you know, who knows? It doesn't matter about them as much as like, all this energy is within, getting detoxified so you don't have to deal with it anymore. Yeah, dude, there's like, there's so much stability coming in through this transformation. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. The cycle would have just kept going around and around and around and around and around. You know, real bad luck with this person. Setbacks, okay? Real... This person, like, or this energy you were connected to would have kept you stuck. And you're so happy to be out of it. It's like a breath of fresh air for you. Yeah, you're standing your ground. You're standing your ground. You're not going to, you're not going to be with this person anymore. Um, actually, I'm going to ask, what does this person want to say to Leo that Leo's leaving? Dang. these cards are so tight like so heavy dang okay 
I mean, for some of you, they feel like they belong to you. <laughs> they feel like you're home. For others of you, they're closing out this cycle as well, ready to do something new as well. Because they really aren't able, you feel like home to them. They don't really want you to go. They keep you around, but they don't want to put in the work. So that's kind of lame, right? Like they don't want to put in the work. Yeah, they're just kind of empty. For some of you, they suffer from like depression. You know, um, when things get too hard, they just like let it go. They just let it go. They run away. Um, yeah, this is energy that's just disassociative, doesn't really know themselves very well. Um, even when they get sad or whatever, they don't deal with it. They just go do something else. So they're not really present, this person. <laughs> Leo, this person, you got to get away from this energy, you know? I mean, you can look from within why you manifested it, okay? But they are, they are grateful for you. They really are grateful for you. Yeah, there's an end of a cycle coming in here for sure, for sure. Um... God. They, I don't see this person leaving. I see you leaving. I see you having to leave. This person wants to stay. They're grateful for your energy. They, they gra they're grateful for what you provide, but they can't, they don't do the work. They don't do whatever the work, or they don't, they're not present. They can't really be here with you. I feel like you're detoxifying from an energy that keeps you stuck in time, that keeps you further away from your true, true soul essence, and it's tied in with this person, you know? I mean, this person, I guess, could change as you change. That's always the case, but yeah, and you're leaving this energy. Yeah, the wheels turn in. There's going to be a new direction, a lot of change for you, okay? Soulmate card showed up the bottom. This could be your soulmate or a soulmate's going to come in or there's going to, or, you know, there's a comeback around. Um, let's see, is there any signs of them coming back around besides that? It's possible. I feel like this person really loves you, Leo, or they're attached to you. They might have made a big boo-boo. They might have made a big mistake. Maybe that's why you're kind of cocky about it. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm going to go here. Let me know if this resonates. This is like a crazy reading. If you'd like a personal, my information's down below in the description box. Thank you so much for being here and taking.